Oh, hey there. I'm just going to be tying up some uh, grass pattern, grasshopper pattern, um, using the River Road Creations uh, beaver tail body cutter and medium, which is a size six to eight. Again, it's probably I'm tying this for my uh, it red eye bass adventure. Let me do one more here, and we will uh, we'll talk about what we're doing here, and then show you show you the fly that we're going to be tying the one that I'm coming up with, which you know probably exists out there somewhere. But I always like to tie for my box uh, at least five flies. And this is a great little tool here from River Road Creations. That help, instead of wearing out your arm and that cutting through in there. All right. Well, why don't we go ahead and uh, we put this away, and uh, we'll uh, we'll show you a fly, and we'll get we we'll tie it. Well, this here's that grasshopper that I was just cutting the bodies out of using. Uh, a beaver tail. We already explained all that um, from uh, River Road Creations, a little stamp, and then the press to help help do that. And then uh, I have laminated up the the green and the light pink foam for the for that. So it's it's about maybe six millimeters. No, four millimeters. They're two millimeter foam pieces. But uh, why don't we go ahead and we'll start tying this and uh, we'll explain it as I go along. <clears throat> I'm using a Dry fly hook, a TMC 5212 in a size 6. That happens to be a 2x long dry fly hook. And what we'll do is uh, put a hook in there, get it get going. I'll need to uh, debarb my hook. I don't need to, but I like to do that. I don't use my vice and my jaws, but you can if you want. <clears throat> and I'm using um, some 6 hot 140 denier in hot pink, only because it's got a pink belly on this grasshopper. And I'm just going to start it right up behind the eye and work my thread back to uh, where the barb of the hook used to be. And again, I'm tying this for uh, my red eye bass series. And I'm going to move my thread back of there. And then when I'm using that press, there's a little nipple or tag end right here. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. You could use it maybe to tie in to secure the head down, but I'm going to let my head rise up. I'm going to be tying these in with the green up. But what I'm going to try to do is uh, position it on there. And if I turn it over, you might see that my tread is forward. I want to bring my tread back just a little bit. So that I'm kind of like right in that shape right there. And I'm going to go ahead and use some Zappagat to 
to get it started. And I'll move my thread up to the next tie-in point, which will be about right where that valley is that you see there. Looks pretty good right there. I'll put a little bit more Zappa Gap on that. Uh, you don't need to have the river roads cutter, but it just makes it easier for for making that. They do make a grasshopper style body. in there and that little raised head will also work like if I wanted to jerk it like a little popper <coughs> on there next I'm going to take is some uh, round rubber legs and I'm going to start on the legs I'm going to use two of them but I'm going to keep them together you know so so there's like two right there And I'm going to put an overhand lap knot to give it a joint. You know, like our grass, grasshopper's got big hind legs. And I'll tug on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and split that back here because their back part of that joint isn't very big. And I'm going to cut that top one off. And then I'll do the other one. And trim that one off. And I'm going to want this leg just to go past that tail section right there. And try to position that. And 
I'm going to position this one about in the same spot. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim off this excess here. And we'll super glue that in. After we get going here. Next we're just going to put some single legs, double on each side, so our grasshopper's got a total of six legs. And I just need one. Just one little strand. And I'll get another one for the other side. trim this off just the foot part here something that just looks right because it seems to be getting in my way Next I'm going to use is some uh, laser lights and pale olive for the, for the wing. And I'm just going to go ahead and, it's a long fiber thing, so I'm just going to pull it, pull some out. Try to keep it there on the middle. And then this wing, I'm just going to cut it off just past the tail section there. I'm going to apply a little bit of Zappa Gap right here. And then I've got a narrow piece, I don't know, chartreuse or 
You can use orange or whatever you want to do for a uh, a sight indicator on it. I'm going to go ahead and just whip finish right there. And we'll trim that off. And we'll cut this a little bit long there. And I'm going to give it like a point. Trim off those corners. So it's kind of got a point. Pick these up. So that they're about the same length. And then I'm going to use some Zappa Gap and protect those threads. Try maybe to pull these back a little bit. All right. Oh, sorry about that. And there we have it. A little little grasshopper. Hopefully, I didn't cut most of that out on there. Hopefully you uh, tie up some of these pretty simple pattern. You know, I, I didn't invent it. It probably, there's probably a hundred different things out there that are a foam grasshopper that you could use. But uh, anyway, give it a try. You might be surprised how well it works. Might even work on them trout. All right, I'm Daryl. We'll see you on the water.